Today you'll find out how to make sure your pergola is up to code, where if you're going to build a pergola, how you apply for the permits, and what is important to have in order to withstand the Florida weather, especially the hurricanes. So you have the space, you want to do something fabulous, and you decided to build a pergola. Here are the steps you need to take to install the perfect pergola as seen and done by Backyards and Pergola. Hi guys. First question, who needs a permit for a pergola in South Florida? Everyone, everyone needs a permit. Of course. So, who applies for the permit? The client or the company that's installed? Yeah, most of the time the contractor, but sometimes homeowner can apply for their own pergola. Okay, and where do I find the information for my specific city, county, and the state chapter? You should go to the website of your city and take a look at the survey so they can see all the information of your house and they, every city will provide all the info. Can I apply online or do I have to go into City Hall and present blueprints? After COVID, you can do it online, every online. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's so much faster. Yeah, yeah. So Ron, how long does it take you to build a pergola like this? Pergola like this? Two weeks. <laughs> with permits? No, with no permits. With permits are around three weeks. What fees should a homeowner keep in mind they'll need to pay? And who do they need to pay? City fees and professional fees, the PC or the RP. Ron, what are the basic parts of a pergola? Okay, columns, beams, rafter, trellis, and the cover. Okay. Given the hurricanes that we have in South Florida, I'm assuming that we have a lot of regulations and there are a lot of things that inspectors are going to look for in order for a pergola to meet South Florida standards, correct? Correct. Right. Yeah, most of the inspectors are going to look that you that, that we need to follow every every detail of the plans. We need to construct or build everything following the, the plans that the architect provide. And I'm assuming the foundation is going to be the most important part of the pergola? Yes. Or the fastener system? Well, I think both. Okay. I think both. But the foundation are, are really important. You need to pour concrete on the foundation two by two feet most of the time, or bigger than that. How far deep into the ground do you go? Two or three feet. Wow. And then it's all sealed in concrete. And and that's regardless of whether you use aluminum or tropical hardwood beams. Yeah, both are the same, the same system. Interesting. So when should you apply for a pergola permit? Before, during, after, what's the deal? Before, we will help you with the, with the design of the pergola that you want. We will guide you to a step. And how long does it take the city to approve a pergola permit usually? Between two weeks and one month. Okay, so you'll have to plan ahead. Yeah. 